I do have a day job, I write. Um, <laughs> the numbers keep falling off my watch, so I have to put it in a particular way so the second hand doesn't get caught on them and then render itself useless. Uh, in February of this year, Stephen Brockwell and I did readings in Louisiana. That's my introduction for this poem. Texture, Louisiana. It begins with a quote, Poetry, however, must say everything. Marceline Planet. Confess our sins, we strive to ash. Arrive in New Orleans, they hose down streets and other surfaces, the clear. The following morning, everyone repaints. The hotel lobby, bars along Bourbon Street. The grease from poles to keep the crowds from climbing, straddled this long-distance horse. In a second-hand bookstore, a poetry collection by Norma Cole, inscribed to Andre Codrescu. Apparently, he had too many books. Confess our sins the riverboat wash. In 1821, Jean Moutou bestowed Vermilionville, a designate along Vermilion River, renamed for war hero General Gilbert de Mottier, Marquis de Lafayette, a Frenchman aiding the American army during the American Revolution, a bastion of French, both language, culture, Cajun, Creole, Acadian, I am translucent skin, the Battle of Vermilion Bayou, April 17, 1863, third in a series running between Union Major General Nathaniel Prentice Banks and Confederate Major General Richard Taylor, what we had to say. I'm a tourist through these pages. I have no right. Birds could never fly this high, capital to capital. Drop down in New Orleans. We flood. We persevere. We drown. In 1812, Andrew Jackson dreamed of red bones. He did not dream the Battle of New Orleans. Stephen says Richard Froude's title, Fabric, translates from Latin into English as text. Think, he says, of textiles. In transit, make a time change I didn't realize. Imagine I composed this an hour before you might have suspected. In 2012, I etched a statue of Andrew Jackson to horse into my memory. Both Horace and Jackson could have easily existed, one without the other. I'm writing about periphery, a strange and outside knowledge of a country I know much about, and yet remarkably little. I know what they tell me. Can any journey be a pilgrimage only if one expects to be educated? We are driven by a spirit to move and be moved, and therefore changed. A professor at the university says that when leaving the United States, he has an ambiguous feeling about the country he doesn't, while at home, knows what he thinks. At the end of our meal, the restaurant quickly converts to salsa dance club. They turn down house lights, up the beat, and strobe. We are welcome to stay as long as we wish, they tell us, push our chairs to the door. In Lafayette, Poet Skip Fox talks about Canadian poet Christian Book, who stayed with him for three days for the sake of a reading. Particular, folded, neat. The poem Book is working to construct out of DNA the building blocks of life. As Fox said, it is the word made flesh. Book chagrined, a grinning fox. The oldest, most famous, and most prevalent metaphor from the dominant religion of Western civilization what Fox infers, suggests, book continuing the original work of God. What might you think of that, dear Audubon? Laughs in a secular dark, my people. The table next orders alligator pie. Ash Wednesday, a mark upon the forehead, Catholic rites. Andrew Jackson rides a statued horse. He saved the city from British invasion during the last moments of the War of 1812. British who hadn't received the message yet, the war was over, the treaty signed. The Americans lost few, and the British more. Life is a highway, the Mississippi River. 
lake upon the mighty Mississippi. The smell, the smell, the whole French quarter, hosed, hung over, swept. Horses drawn, the river snakes east, west, south, north, squirrels to open, steamers burn. Tropical trees and fleur de lis, an almost complete absence of spoken French, an anglicization of reappropriated words. Revel in Zydeco instead. Eleni Sicilianos in the Book of John, these stories speak of human history. Blue sky, rail, Fahrenheit, 70 degrees. At home, well below zero. We should have brought shorts. Christine sends an email, traffic, 100 traffic accidents since noon. Fester, recollection, turtle soup, the spicy alligator sausage, crawdads. Our hotel prides itself on brothel history, portraits in the bar. Live sex shows, what might performers do with off time? <coughs> Read Wit Wittgenstein, Lacan, wonder about the nature of the soul, separate from the body. Make love quiet, slow, those private things that they can only keep. Song to its architecture. Aspects of the carny, hustle, wave your hands, come in, come, billboards speak to women, strip, clubs, cater, we deflect, successful, hand grenades, sketch another postcard, rich, man in the tropical isles bayou club sells us a snapshot, he is standing beside <coughs> Magic Johnson, an absence of families, walk, mid-American, the elderly couple in from West Virginia, Stephen suggests there should be an index to such things. In Houston, a 40-minute stopover. I, purchase, I, I pause to purchase a snow globe. Capital letters spell out Houston, fortify a NASA astronaut, three inches tall. Christine, who attended space camp as a teenager, twice. How we can see, now, snow and empty space. In 2011, the United States canceled their space program, four decades worth of exploration. Their budget makes the moon impossible. In Washington, D.C., changing flights again, we are forced to switch terminals, thusly leaving security to re-enter. The snow globe confiscated. We can't allow that here, please. This article is a stub. You can expand. When I think of Spanish settlement in the United States, I think of churches. I think of Zorro, freedom fighting, what little I know from here, California, the coast, loss, loss. The wind picks up, our steamboat cruise, it bowls us over. In the vampire store, Stephen purchases a hand-bound leather notebook for the paper, says, almost as the, as the leather itself, blank, unbleached let my hand across the texture, unmarked, pretext, as it were. He would not consider the blood vials safe as tiny houses. New Orleans, I seek out the cold from my bones, gone somewhere I almost miss. Stephen speaks, but I don't hear, somewhere within the pages of a book. I compose these postcards to Christine, as days progress to evening, the image is deliberately more risque. It speaks to risk, a river as long as its name. The 18th state, two centuries abide, a truth held up to beads. The waitress, the waitress, is made of butter. I compose another postcard, Christine still at work, a snowstorm howls, home. Waitress calls us sweet faces, hands us our bill. The graves hold above ground, set the water line, a line of water speaks. The levee breaks and dry. The moisture in the warm air nearly solid, immediate once we deplane, step, a moisture barrier at once. 200,000 native French speakers in Louisiana, we meet but one. Introduced in school, immersion, questioned what might be gone a generation. Children speak what their parents don't know, grandparents and beyond knew first, knew only. The story of a Middle Eastern village nestled, 
that spoke the same dialect, unchanged <coughs> as Christ, what then fought harder to retain. In Ottawa, the Gaelic choir, Ar N Oran, sing out their hearts, refill an endless gulf. A crawdad sky, not for the fish she fishes. Settled by a man, a man, another man, horse dung, palimpsest of smells, the water hangs in humid, liquid air, bring up the dawn, the dusk. Settled by a man, a slew of men, slept, my right hand fell asleep. Virgin Mary shadows a cathedral, impossibly large. Settled by a woman, men need not apply, closed for Mardi Gras, but open. The Crescent City circles the sun. The War of 1812, Louisiana officially a state that year, 200, the same year that first steamboat riverbound arrives, the boundary where we met. Claimed for Spain in 1541, Hernando de Soto. The streets of San Francisco, 1972-1977. Michael Douglas and Carl Malden drove uphill every morning fast as beams, worked episodes as gravity took the whole day, fighting downhill crime and ease until they came to water, nightly, bay, into the credits, slept. Saturated, all the world is underwater. Swamps cut from bayou, swamp, the river rivers, supersedes the land below. Etched for concrete trail, the interstate from New Orleans to Baton Rouge to Lafayette. Sometimes we are made of mirrors. Louisiana, I read a poem about the War of 1812 titled The War of 1812. Until now, I had no idea about the Battle of New Orleans or how it related. Mistakes were made. We don't always have the correct information. William Shakespeare, who died April 23rd, 1616, according to the Julian calendar. Miguel de Cervantes, author of Don Quixote, died 10 days later on the same date, according to the relatively new Gregorian calendar. In Beauregardville, Baton Rouge, we have the best root beer I've ever tasted, made on location. They serve up freedom fries without any sense of irony. This is not the only American Lafayette. Oh, my sweet Lafayette, sang Lucinda Williams. Toronto poet Camille Martin spent over a decade in New Orleans until Katrina, one of the relocated, headed north. After 14 Louisiana years, now teaches sonnets to Ryerson writing students, one line <coughs> for every year. Gulf, a chasm, empty. The French Quarter, invented by the Spanish, it is not, we're told, true New Orleans. It is the French Quarter. So many sentences imagined. Rufus Wainwright, I'm so tired of America. Magnolia blossoms. Stephen orders mint juleps twice. The pestle crushes leaves, or spoon, the flat of the round. Poverty point, a vantage you can see forever. We ride out orphan train the town of Opelosis, these people of migration. The American Revolution, which went on to influence the French Revolution, let them eat cake. And we do, there, crab cakes like we've never known. Antoine's, made, the state's oldest continuously operating restaurant, opened in 1840, older than our country. 1722, New Orleans, the capital, at once. Stephen sketches out a poem, Molly's Irish Pub, French Quarter, where reception bleeds, blacks out, cell phone misses, calls, repeated. I'm trying to remember a name. 1849, the capital to Baton Rouge, to distance from temptation. What does this say of Baton Rouge? We drive through, don't stop. Stop, don't stop, she says once I'm home. Twin engines swim, fan out, state troopers multiply, divide the traffic, stretch an eye out on the straight path lines and follow. Where there is land and only land, imaginary, six feet under, waves, 
the graveyard stone must rise. In 1803, Napoleon Bonaparte, he set his pen relenting. Napoleon's American dream released Louisiana Purchase. Four cents an acre, some. Napoleon set down his pen, most likely quill. Before the slave revolt, before no man's land, before Confederacy, the steamboat, tours. The rumors of my death, says Mark Twain, AKA Samuel Clemens. But then again, his tall tales, this too, a story. Am I the uneven surface that you speak of? In February 2012, by the Mississippi edge, a spray of dust up over the famous Cajun restaurant patio. Stephen was composing notes toward a poem, flipping pages of Nicanor Para, anti-poems, how to look better and feel great. One man cutting grass, a most wondrous scent. This is what I know of home, suspense. Another man behind him packed a leaf blower, the delta blue. As Alice Notley writes, being in the fabric of it. Cloud through, through the propeller scatters, fractals, snowflakes made of moistened air. And I only have time for a couple more. I brought way too much up here. Um, I'll read a couple from my uh, CBC attempt. I figure even if I get no further than the long list, I've achieved enough to put on a CV, so I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> but the money would sure be nice. <coughs> it would make a very nice wedding present. Bruised. One. Thumbs we are. By fall colors you shall know them. Clutch of deer. Two. Completing thirty years, the tool shed is his greatest pride, he claims, the tool shed and the children. Three, the world grows older, question not of light, but solids, slow, we would ease into, shaped. The lost years, recyclables. One, cleft of cupboards past a warren, blue, held, green, wind chimes. Two, Tuesday mornings, iron drone of sleepy trucks, recover, gloved city workers, hand. Three, collect inside these stomach years, digested strands of hair, a slimy growing mass. What is that word? Testament, a short sequence of poems after housewares. One, she makes the bed, unmakes precisely in that order, sometimes sleeps. Two, sweetest meatballs and we exit Ikea, finally safe as houses. Three, let down, let down the blinds, a musical high-pitched tone. Four, her mother sends the recipe so we no longer have to. Space imagined. One, a block of minerals I break, my tooth, your weight in salt. Are there things that can't be said, lucid as a candle, minimal, Two, every theory practical, unmade, the grassy knoll, for example, would claim no spiritual resonance or force. Three, says, and he says, nothing. And I'll end with, hmm, year zero. One, uncover alternates, begin again. Thick with bruises, iris, water lily, saturates. These calm distinctions. March heat wave destroys the syrup season. season. Maple sap can't flow. Two. Poem, not any unified theory. The word stand, poker held, 
would place a single down another could make all the difference. Three, canvas, shade, eclipse of shrinking pools, the cat sheds, light and at first and then.